Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I got a fire tutorial for y'all today. Today, I'm gonna be giving y'all five different moves that you need in order to be able to do the grapevine. Let's jump into it. All right, so like always, before we jump into the tutorial, you know what you gotta do, like the channel, and if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that little subscribe button. Um, liking the video helps push it out in the algorithm, which in turn, more people actually get to see it, so it helps out more skaters. So I'm giving you a free sauce every week, the least you can do is like the video, and maybe help some other people out. So I also do a beginner skate class every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, it's just 15 bucks, it's very affordable, you know what I'm saying? You spend more than that, probably getting your nails done. Uh, so check that out. I also do one-on-one -on -one private classes. Those are a little more expensive, but they're definitely worth it. So if you really need in-depth help with your skating, check that out. Everything is on diamondskates.com. I actually have already done a how-to grapevine tutorial. This is just going to be going, and going over the movements that you need to make it better. Um, so this is not a beginner tutorial. If you are a beginner, if you want to check it out, be my guest. But this is more for an intermediate and advanced skaters. All right, so number one, the first thing you need to be able to do the grapevine is you need to be able to turn, okay? So you need to be able to go from forward, turning back, okay? So that's the first thing you need. Let's kind of go over that. So the reason why you need that is because that is the first movement in doing the grapevine, okay? So you're skating, you need to be at a turn like that, okay? Um, I would suggest learning both ways. So I just turned to the left like this. You also wanna be able to turn to the right. All right, so we just kind of go over that just in case there are some beginners watching and they want to learn too. So the way that I'm turning, so let's say if I'm turning to the left, I'm going to bring my left skate. Let me turn this way. Got a lot of people asking if I could do it from the back. Pause. Um, so from here, it's going to come in, out in that V, and then my right skate is going to come around. All right, now let me do it going forward. So, this case is gonna come in, open up to that V, and this one's going to then trace like that, okay? Same thing if you are turning to the right. Right skate is gonna come around like this, open up to the V like that, and then allow your left skate to then roll around, okay? Let me do it going forward, front, open up, turn, okay? Um, going to the side, just mine as well. So, boom, open up like this, turn. As you notice, I'm also bending my knees, which is going, helping me push off the ground to turn. So, from here, front, Boom, turn, okay? Um, so that is number one. You have to be able to turn around. Number two, I would say, is manuals, okay? I also have a manual tutorial, but I did it a while back with, um, with my guy Hunter, and sometimes we get a little, uh, uh, so I don't know what the hell we were talking about. I might have to do an updated version of that one too, because we were probably talking crazy shit, so. Um, but yeah, manuals. Manuals are basically when you're balancing on your two front wheels like this or your two back wheels or also um, like heel toe, okay? Which you don't necessarily need um, for the grapevine, but it's just dope to have. So being able to sit up here like this on your two front wheels and balance you need this, okay? And also, it helps to be able to just skate around just being on your two wheels, 
are your two front wheels, okay? You need this, you, you need to be able to do that. And um, you, you might as well go ahead and learn the heels too. Because everything you do is gonna make um, the grapevine easier. So the more, the more steps you learn, it's gonna make it just a lot easier. And it's going to build up that leg strength that you need. All right, because with the grapevine, what I notice a lot of skaters is they don't have the actual strength to pull. So that's why um, I, see, I see a lot of skaters struggling with it because it's the leg strength. So second is manuals. Third is gonna be flares, all right? Now flares is basically when you're going out like this, coming back, out, back, out, okay? Um, so let me just start off basic with that. So let's just try going, for those of you that um, are kind of new to this, keep all four wheels on the ground, okay? Keep all four wheels on the ground and then slowly go out. Not too much, just enough to where you stop like this. And if you need to hold on to something, you can. And then from there, once, you, once your skates are out like this, pull them in. Okay, so squeeze your thighs and bring them in like that, okay? So try that. So let's roll forward a little bit, just a little bit. Don't roll too fast because you're not gonna have the strength to stop yourself. So bring them out like this. So right now my, um, my uh, calves are tight and then I'm gonna squeeze in on my thighs. Boom, feel that? Work on that. So out, boom. See how they're kind of going out like this? Pull them in. Okay, now, once you pull them in, we have to stop. So we have to do um, the other way, which is our skates going out, okay? So my toes are pointed in like this. It's kind of awkward, but this is, this is what it is. And then you're gonna pull them in. Pull them in, allow them to come out like that, stop. Pull them in, allow them to come out. Toes pointed in, pull them in, okay? Boom. Squeeze them, boom. Okay, so this is like the basic of flares. And if you're not used to doing like move, movements like that, your thighs and everything, you're gonna feel it. That's what you want. You wanna build up that strength in your thighs because you're gonna need it whenever you're twisting and trying to hold your balance, all right? So that's the basic. Um, flare, now what you wanna do is you wanna be able to do it on your toes. Okay, so we were just on all fours. Now let's try doing it on our toes. Again, um, if you're not ready to go to this step, it's fine because you're going to want to be able to balance on your toes to be able to do this. Um, I guess an in-between trick we can do. So go out on your toes, balance like this, right? Drop down. Squeeze them in. Now when you go back like this, go onto your toes, like that. Squeeze them in, boom. And you go out, go onto your toes, balance, squeeze them in, boom, drop down. Boom, boom, okay? So that's kind of like an in-between motion that you can do. All right, so practice that. And again, go super slow, because if you go fast, you probably aren't gonna have the, um, the leg strength to pull yourself back or to even hold it. So go really, really slow. And you don't have to go out as far as, as, as I'm going. Just go like a little bit. So just a little boom, like that, easy. Out. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Um, you can also do it on your heels. It's kind of like the same thing. You just go out like this. All right, so you're just holding this position, bringing it in. Huh, you can't really, it's kind of, 
Yeah, I wouldn't suggest going back on your heels. Well, I guess you can. Anyways, the point is, flares. That's what you need. Work on that, all right? Boom, 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 okay? You should be super comfortable just doing this. All thighs, all thighs, all butt, okay? Get that, that is number three. Now, what's number four? I think number four is like hips. Yeah, I believe that's number four. So, something that's super underrated is your hip power. If you don't, if you don't know how to move your hips, then your grapevine is gonna look sloppy and you're not gonna be able to get like around fully. You'll see what I mean. So, whenever you're doing the grapevine, you are twisting your hips. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. It's just more of like a tip. So whenever you go into it, think about swinging your hips. Your hips are doing a lot of the work. So let's say if I'm on my toes like this, right? I'm just balancing on my toes. When I go to swing my hips, well, I just spun. But that's basically what you're gonna be doing while you're doing the grapevine. You're gonna be swinging. Swinging, 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 swinging. All right, you're gonna really be whip. Just think whip, whip, all right? So that is number four, hip strength. Number five, it helps if you can do crazy legs going to the side, okay? So if you can, crazy legs going to the side, okay? Uh, let me do it this way. So, as you know, crazy legs like this, right? Okay, now from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up, boom, boom, okay? Now watch, from here, you're gonna continue to go to the side. This skate right here, boom, right there is actually a flare, the, the move that we were practicing previously. So boom, flare, boom. Now you're in position to go to the side again. I don't have a lot of like um, space from side to side, so I don't want to go out of the camera. Um, but yeah, so practice doing crazy legs from side to side. So here, boom, 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 boom. Um, you can practice it going both ways. Because this motion right there, this motion is like the grapevine, all right? It's, um, it's not as much hip twisting. You're basically doing the grapevine, but staying like facing forward. Because the grapevine, you're moving your hips, which is twisting you. So the grapevine is like this, right? But um, crazy legs, is the same motion, you're just facing forward. So try to keep that in mind. That is number five, I believe, okay? So work on all of those things, and I promise you, your grapevine is gonna be a lot smoother, and you're gonna be able to do a lot more with it, all right? Um, again, I do have a grapevine tutorial. I don't really wanna go over the grapevine too much because um, it's a lot, it's a very complex move, but fuck it, why not? All right, so for me, I turn, shit, the hell is that? All right, so for me, I naturally, I wanna turn to the left to go into my crazy legs, I mean my, my uh, grapevine. So here's what I do. I do a turn, right? So. Boom, open up, turn, now watch. From here, with my right skate out in front, I do a flare, okay? So, right skate is going to come back like this. Now when it does, I'm gonna go on my toes. So watch, watch what happens. This one's, going, this one's already on its toes. Now my left is going to turn in on the toe, like this. Boom. See that? So. From here, left skate is going to turn in. Boom. 
All right, let's try that again. So from here, I turn around, comes back, boom. And you'll notice, you actually notice that you automatically start to turn once you do that, that flare. So if you're skating backwards and you bring the skate in, as long as you hold it, you're automatically gonna wanna turn. Same going to, the, to this way. So let's say if I'm skating backwards this way and I bring this skate in, you don't have to do much. It's automatically gonna wanna turn you. So yeah, let's see if I can go over that. So boom, turn around from here, boom. Okay. Trying not to get out of camera. So boom, turn around from here, open up. Now you're in position to turn around again. So left skate out in front. Shoot. Hang on, that's not right. Let's get out in front like this. Turn around. Flare. Boom. So that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of space going this way. Um, I could do it this way, but kind of far. So from here, turn around. Boom. Flare. From here, turn around. Boom flare and now I'm out of the camera <laughs> um, now if that is not your strong side you can also do it let me try it from the other side I kind of not that good doing it from the other side but it's the same concept so from here turn around boom flare here turn around boom flare <sighs> Don't really have enough space. But again, I'm not gonna do like a full breakdown on it, but that's basically it. Um, yeah, get to practice. Get them legs stronger. I know some of y'all got chicken legs, so get that strength up in your legs. Practice, practice, practice. Don't message me and be like, yo, I can't get it, and you only been working on it for like a day or two. You're gonna really need to bust your ass if you want this move. Um, so yeah, get to work. And like the video, y'all. Stop playing. Like the video. And I will catch y'all next week. All right. Later.